Nikazungumze yaliyo yako, nikanene yaliyo yako, na nikafanya yaliyo yako peke yake. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Eh, keti kwenye kiti chako cha mujiza. Then unipe tu dakika chache niweze kuzungumza na wewe. A few minutes only I'll be through. Nikukamilisha tunakamilisha mafundisho ya the bloodline tulianza na bloodline patterns tukaingia kwenye bloodline effects and today we are in the bloodline the power of the blood ambie mwenzako the power nguvu katika damu bwana yesu asifiwe sana the power in the blood tell your neighbor the power in the blood it doesn't matter which kind of blood you are speaking about but the power the blood has power be it negative on positive it is power the blood iwe ni apaka iwe ni kuku iwe ni kifaranga iwe ni binadamu the blood has power mwambie mwenzako the blood has power na tumefungwa sana katika blood that has power lakini before this as i get in i want to nataka kumwalika mwanadada anaitwa Wailimu Siku ya Jumamosi ijayo tuko na seminar maalum ma, maalu. seminar ya kuzungumzia uchawi sema uchawi Najua uchawi ni kitu chenye nguvu sana katika maisha yetu Uchawi inaweza kuwa ni hilisi kamute na uchawi inaweza kuwa ni mdomo tu ni maneno ambayo nitazungumza kwako inaweza kuwa uchawi Uchawi inaweza kuwa the positioning where you are what you are what you are dressing what you are saying you are self, you can be a witch of yourself wewe mwenyewe unaweza kuwa mchawi wewe mwenyewe wako wako yale maneno unayozungumza kwako yeah? yale maneno ambayo unajizungumzia yanaweza kuwa maneno mazuri yaliyo ya kujenga ama maneno mabaya ya kujiroga kama hauhitaji kurogwa na mtu unahitaji mdomo wako kuufungua ukajiroga So we have Wairimo who msichana amekuwa mchawi kwa muda mrefu sana. Na I confess. So when I met Wairimo, nilimkutana na yeye huko alinipiga nikiwa Dubai. Nilikuwa nimeenda kufungua kanisa ya Dubai. Na akanipigia simu. Tukaongea na yeye nikamwambia nitakuja. Na ni wakati nilipokuja nikamwambia tukutane kanisa ya Dhika. Sasa Wairimo tumeona na yeye tutengeneze mkutano. Wairimo 
eh, nataka wapie watu kuna watu wana kusikiliza kule nje Program inaanza saa ngapi? Sana. Naona hapa wasome tu wewe. Um the topic of that day it's on 17. It's on masking secrets of witchcraft and breaking the law. Guest speaker we have our pastor and uh, me. We have a coordinator uh MC that is Pastor We have a um, data clerk who is Esther Ongoy. We have a uh, lead worshiper in the morning who is Brian. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. it's a regular time and registration. From 11 a.m. to 11.30 is praise and worship by Brian. 11.30 to 12.30 I'll be talking. From 12.30 to 1 p.m. we we'll have question and answer. From 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. we we'll have our postal. And um, from there we we'll have our worship by uh, Beatrice. And then from 2 p.m. to 2.45 p.m. we we'll have the refreshments. And then guests are going to leave their own pleasure. Thank you. Si mpigie makofi. Yaani in another she, in another word anataka kutuambia unmasking the secrets of witchcraft and breaking the yoke. Yaani anataka kukuambia in another word kwa ufupi tu badala ya kisugumiki. Anataka kukuambia, anataka kukuambia venye alikuwa na roga watu na venye unatajirogora. Sipo. Si si ndio unmasking because anataka kukuambia hivi ndivyo kulikuwa na waroga na hivi ndivyo mnafaa kujilogora. Hivyo tu. Sasa ukuje ufundishwe manage wegi hapa. Mimi hiyo kitu anasema alikuwa anaweka kwa yeye. Kwa huko nini? Hiyo kanyama. Mimi nimekula mara nyingi sana. Nimekula. Wanawake, ukiona mwanaume ndio huyo ameenda na ameanza kuenda na ameanza kuenda, unamuitiza pesa ya haraji na kuuliza kama mimi nachunanga kwa muti juu ama alikwenda uchibe mali na chibaga. Don't try to abuse this man. He is not alone. He is not alone. Mimi nilikuwa mbaya. Niko na pesa kwa buti ya gari. Nilikuwa na bima pesa kwa buti si kwa mku. Kwa buti ya gari. 2 million 3 million. Na itishwe na muuliza si kwendo kachibe mali na chipaka. Na ananitisa pesa ya kununulia mtoto dawa. Si ya yeye hata kununua nguo yake. Ya kununulia mtoto dawa. Na mimi naona kimakamasi ya mtoto mmoja iko hapa, nyingine iko hapa kwa sababu ana shida hivi. Hii imekuwa ni kama rami imewekwa. Namwambia edo katune, edo katakota penye na kupataka pesa. Nani mtoto yangu? Sioni. Sioni hata kidogo. Na ni nini? Ni kama hii tu. Kadogo kametosha na hivi. Kalilazisho kwenye hijini. Kuisha wewe. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Hiyo ni kazi wa elimu amefanya sana. Hako na experience. Tuachie hiyo hapo. Blood line power. Sema blood line power. Tulikuwa kwenye blood line patents tukaingia kwenye bloodline effects sasa tuko kwenye bloodline pa- power na ndio tunamalizia hapo because it is the bloodline that we are in that has caused us to have these challenges ambazo tuko nazo nyingi sana hii shida mingi tuko nayo ni bloodline uko na matatizo kwenu unafikiria ni wewe kube ni baba yako na unafikiria ni baba yako kube ni guuka unafikiria ni guuka kube ni guuka wa guuka unasikia Musa alikosa kwenda kana ni kwa nini Musa alikosa kana ni sio kwa sababu alikuwa mbaya. This man was speaking to God mundu ku mundu. Alikuwa naenda anaambiwa na Mungu toa viatu. Anaenda kuchuga ngombe moto inawaka. Anaambiwa karibia moto, kukaribia moto. Anasikia huyu ni Mungu. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Huyu mtu alikuwa anapanda kwenye mlima kule, anaogea na mugu. Sasa unataka kuniambia mugu ali drop hiyo tablet. Alimwachiliachiliwa ikakuja akaishika idaka kama mpira. Hapana. Mugu alikuja akamwambia mwadhai kala hatu waliye. Kaa hapa. Akakaa hapo. Akaambiwa hii ndio maagano yangu. Pelekea watu wangu. He was communicating and he was seeing God. Hata kama alikuwa anaona moto, hata kama alikuwa anaona mwaga, that is how God looks like. And that is what has happened to Moses. But despite Moses having a exclusive contact with God, he still failed because of bloodline. He still failed it. Hakuenda Kanani, alifikishwa kwenye mlima, akaambiwa Kanani ni wewe area. Ile ndio Kanani lakini hautakanyaga huko kwa nini kwa sababu kuna mkitu imemkukamata asira na hii asira ilitoka kwa Jakobo huko bali kabisa Jakobo wakati alikuwa anabariki watoto na laani akamwambia wewe akamwambia juda katika dunia hii mamlaka ya ufalme itakuwa kwa nyababega yako naye akamwambia Simon na Levi mlikatakata ngobe hii ndio itakuja kufanyika maana Jacob aliita watoto wake akamwambia kujeni niwaambie siku za nyuma zenye zitakuwa venye zitakuwa so kizazi cha Lewi ambacho ni chomusa utakifuatilia vizuri utaona ni hasira tupu hasira na hakuna reason sasa unaagusha kitu umepatiwa na Mungu. Badala uende wabie Mungu ati hawa watu wamenileta shida unafanya namna gani? Yeye mwenyewe na ameogea na Mungu na anajua nguvu ya Mungu na anajua uwezo wa Mungu na ameona Mungu lakini hasira ikamweka chini. Muulize mwezako kama unakuwa na hasira. Amekuambiaje? Amekuambiaje? Anakuwa nayo? Eh, hey, mwambie si yako. Mwambie haijatoka kwako. Enda ifuatilie iko kwa baba yako na mama yako. Enda ifuatilie iko kwa shosho. Enda ifuatilie iko kwa guka. Enda ifuatilie uko nyuma na utajipata uko nyuma. Utapata wei asira ba iko ndani yako. Iko na miaka tatu. Alafu niambie unakuja siku moja hapa, uwekelewe mikono, asira ya kitu miaka tatu iondoke. Haiwezi kuondoka bado itasimama na ndio nabii wa Kristo wa nyumba nyinyi wa nyumba wale ambao mnanipenda mnanifuata muondoke kwenye ile Ukristo ya 100% teremkeni kwa hapa kwa gupenye niko Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana mutoke hiyo mfo faith 99 ama 96 yote muachie Mungu mchukue 5% 6% ndio muambie Mungu sasa mimi hii mapo siwezi mimi siwezi hakika myself dora waroige mimi Siwezi nikiwa hivyo siwezi kutoboa bila my, bila God bila Mungu siwezi maana namhitaji kwa kila step every move i'm making when i discovered ile spirit ya mogeke ilikuwa ndani yangu si ya miaka 2 ilikuwa ya miaka 700 nilifuatilia nikafuatilia baka yule gukali yazisha kabisa wacha huyu waroige ukirudi nyuma kabisa kabisa the spirit ya bai ilikuwa ndani yangu ni ya miaka gapi 700 bwana yesu asifiwe sana Ukijikuta unasekenya watu si wewe unasekenya msekenyadi ni shosho wako ndivyo alikuwa Ukikuta unajua kuduka duka watu vizu si wewe ni uka wako na anti na wengine huko ndio jichukuze utaona uko ndani yako kabisa na utakuta hiyo masekenyo ni ya miaka 300 sasa unakuja unasema hutia aliyo kigo kemwe sasa naokea kigo kemwe na msekenyaji ako ndani miaka 300 kigo kemwe itamtoa kiwa kemo iwezi kumtoa lazima ndikuegie kwa kirazi kama hii tuvudishane tuvudishane tuchibuane ni kwa bia bloodline ni kwa bia ancestral spirit ni kwa bia imani kati kati ya hiyo utajipata ukipata bearing ndio utajua tutapitia hapa ndivyo nazimianza lakini yeye atalio kiwa kemwe kiliku kiga na nami akamega na mati tu chosho yako yako na miaka na mikaka The blood that is in you is a blood of killing. Kuna watu ndani yao kama Musa, the blood was in him was a blood of killing. Wakati waliua, ungilia ngombe wakati katakata. Lewi na Simon walikuwa watu wa vituko mingi sana. Kumbuka Musa na yeye amelelewa si kwao, amelelewa kwa family nyingine. Hakuwa na attachment ya family hata kidogo. Hakuna hata siku moja alikuwa na attachment ya family yao. Family walimpeleka kwa kamuto wakamwacha huko na wakaenda. 
Familia ya, 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 ya ni farao ama ni herode? Watoto. Ni farao ama ni ni farao? Acha nataka nataka nifundishe vizuri ndio muelewe. Ni farao. Musa na farao akaenda akakuta kitoto na akapeleka kwao. Kikarelewa huko. Hakuna mahali aligusana na familia. Tuseme ati ahi anileta fafa wao. Ahi anileta shosho wao. Ahi anileta anti. Hakuna mahali aligusana na familia. Lakini wakati wa kutenda vitendo za familia yao. Wakati ilifika. Alinyoga mutu. Bwana yesu asiwe sana. Damu yenu. Mpago mahali ina kujagia. Maana kuna familia wanaasaka wakiwa na fote. Kuna familia inasaka ikiwa na dhata, kuna familia inasaka ikiwa na twedi, kuna bahari familia inalipukiaga hata uende kwa mwezi huko. Miaka hiyo ikifika kitu inaruka. Ndio unashaka unashidwa. Huyo mwili tunaniwela ali mohono kule, alikuwa miokoka. Yaani akiwa praise and worship, alikuwa kanaipa pako naona watu wanaaguka peke yake. Lakini amefika fote mama msiana amebadilika. Unaenda kumwambia mambo ya Yesu na kuuliza what is that? Who is that? Kotali na kianga kiega. Unamkuta sahi ametoboa huko. Ametoboa huko. Ametoa guo. Amekata t-shirt yake. Mefika hapa. Yes. Nakaguo kegine kameka hivi. Upepo ikikuja hivi. Anakuwa pala chuti. Na ukiulisa vizuri unaulisa. Si huyu ndiyo kare karikuwa kana hivi. Mpaka watu wanaaguka. Si kare diyo posto walikuwa na abia simama hapa. Paka unaona kamiaza kueda hivi. Kakieda hivi watu wanao wanaeza kueda hivi. Watu wanaeda hivi. Haka. Noko. Siyo kupeda kwake. Na hata kama ataobewa na nani. Akose kuelewa. Muzizi ya ima neno. Hakuna kitu mutamufanya. Bwana Yesu wa sifuwe sana. Watu weki hapa muko hapa. Si njini muna hitaji deliverance. Ni mama yako. Ni shosho yako. Lakini kwa sababu hayuko tutakufanya deliverance na zima ukae chini tuchibwe tuchibe baka tujue ni wapi hii kitu ilianzia huyu wa ilimo nilichuga nilikuja nikamukalisha chini kamuabia hebu niabia story ya yako haka niabia mama yake haka hapa dadora haka niabia story yake nikajua aha na shosho haka niabia aha mmetoka wapi hasa kube haka niabia familia moja hiko kenya na familia moja hiko wapi tanzania akaniambia shosho ni shosho anaitwa makufuri wa makufuri eh hey, ni shosho anaitwa wa makufuri nikamwambia kwa nini shosho anaitwa wa makufuri akaniambia yule magufuri wa Tanzania ni familia yetu na nikamuuliza ulikuwa naenda kuchukua uchawi wapi akaniambia nilikuwa naenda kuchukua Tanzania you see it finds its home uchawi ama kitu yoyote ambayo oriented by blood it takes you it takuta imekupeleka mpaka kwao the origin huyu msichana alijipata Tanzania bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kumbuka Yesu ametoka kwenye clan ya nani ya juda bwana Yesu asifiwe sana akapada uangalia juda alianza on a fault note akaoa mwanamke akazaa watoto watatu mtoto wa kwanza akaoa akakufa mtoto wa pili ikakuja ndio huyo akao akabio awa mtoto huyu msichana huyu ambaye alikuwa ameolewa na brother yako mchukue uzalie brother yako because Judah was looking for the word of the father Judah ile kitu alikuwa anatafuta it is the fulfillment of the word of the father that your generation will bring forth kings naye kube system ambayo iko ndani ya familia ah nayo ilikuwa inatafuta who is going to project prostitution Mesikia? Judah anatafuta maneno ya baba yake itimie. Nayo Na system kegogona ile iko ndani ya familia inatafuta who is to carry forward. Nani aliwin? Ni Judah aliwin ama ni kigogona kiliwin? Kigogona diliwin despite powerful word from Jacob. Despite prophetic word from Jacob. kigogona ya usherati ndio iliwin na ilianziwa na nani Abraham kwa sababu ya Abraham naye alitoka kwa baba yake alikuwa mganga na alikuwa mchawi was an idol worshiper alikuwa anaitwa Tera 
Abraham akaambiwa oa mwanamke akaoa Sara. Akaambiwa ogoja nitakupatia mtoto. Wakaogoja, wakaogoja. Wakaogoja, wakaogoja. Wakaogoja. Baka bibi akagalia mudhee ni agiyeke. Imagine. Eh, brother. Mudhee to ni okigiyekire mona hore. Ndokioye kaire tuga kana ri mugiciare. Niko ziari ona sasa muse ya miagaika. Lakini ni nini? Ni madhabahu si Sara. Madhabahu ikaingia ndani ya Sara ikabia Mose aase kufanya usharati. Ndio hii kitu ya dere. Maana ametoka kwa baba Tera mwenye alikuwa mtu ambaye ni wa ni wa kuabudu sanamu na hizo maneno. Naye Bwana akasikia maneno ya mama. Ma akajua okay yes, akabia kasichana kuja. Mama amesema. Mama kiugari. Ukire na dhina. Wewe ni unaona nataka kuina dhina. Tadiomori. Madam akasema hapana. Si vizuri. Najua kalikuwa kama Egyptian. Na Egyptian walikuwa wanapenda sheria sana. Akasema hapana. Si vizuri. Haiwezekani. Mama 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 atauliza. Kwa dudiomori ende muulize. Mama akamwambia ni mimi nimetoa amri. Edeni nimulisafutie mtoto mnidete. So kasiana kanaitwa Hagai kalikuwa planted up by this altar dio kakuja kaharibu the process ya Mungu ndani ya Abraham so things are strategically planted when it comes to the bloodline authorities that operate in you things are strategically planted wanaume watakuja strategically planted wanawake watakuja strategically planted kanisa kama hili takuja strategically planted kan eh, biashara italetwa strategically planted things that will cost you to deviate unaontoka katika mpango ya Mungu. Ana Abraham baka saa hii ile begu alipanda iko ama iko? Ile Abraham ndego alipanda si iko. Si hiyo Ismaili yako. Eh Ismaili ametuagaisha maji atuagaisha. Ako. Lakini bado Ibrahim aliambiwa you are the father to generations. All what Ismail wanted to come is to destroy the fatherhood of the generation. That word that God prophesied to Abraham that you are the father to the generation. That was the intention. Like in, once you overcome the intention, once you overcome the plan of the devil, they will leave you with that, they create another loophole. So it is a journey until you die. This journey will never fail to have a fresh test. Ukiruka mtihani huu watakuingiza kwa mtihani mwingine. Ukiruka kwa higi utarushwa kwa higine. Kama wewe ni mtu wa hasira, you will be tested in the line ya hasira. Lakini there is power in what you say. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. There is power, always there is power in what you say. Do not ever look down. Ukisema utashindwa utashindwa. Ukisema utaanguka utaanguka. Ukisema umemalizwa utamalizika. There is power in your mouth. Two most important tools to deal with your brother. The power in your mouth and allowing God to do the work. Hallelujah. The power in your mouth and allowing God to do what? His work. Ukikuwa na hizo maneno bili umeigia automatically into the policy process ya deliverance. Because you know it is your willingness from your heart to be delivered and then allow God to reveal himself to what extent you are captured. When I say this, you will be able to understand to what extent umekamatua. When I say this, only God knows how and when you are going to be fully delivered. God, only God. I'm in the process. That's why I told God, I am not capable. Si na uwezo. Dikiota kweyo horania. Na magogona mekiru miya kama kana mugu waja. Nitaansia wapi. Niyabie sasa. You are 700 years. You are 1000 years old. Uwaza kufuja madhabahu ya 1000 years old. How will you start? Ukwa jaku. Utaaza wapi? Hello? Where will you start? There is nothing you can be able to do. But with God. You are capable. When Jesus, when Judah gave birth to his children, the first born, he akakufa kwa sababu ya mwanamke. The same same mwanamke akauwa the second born. The same same mwanamke mwanamke akalala sasa na Judah mwenyewe. Ni nini ilikuwa inachuguzwa? Ni nini ilikuwa inapigana nayo? The words of the father. At in your shoulders you shall produce kings. So, huyu mwanamke mkanani, ni mkanani ama ni mnini? 
Ye ni mukanani. Huyu mwanamke mukanani aliletwa hapo strategically ku make sure Judah hatafrete mfalme dunia hii. That was the role of that woman. There are people that are here with a role. There are people in your life that are there with a function, with a role. Just to make sure the bloodline system in your life does not work according to how God wants, but works according to how the devil wants. There are people who will come into your life as husbands, as wives, as managers, as um, people to assist you. They have not come to assist you. They have come to make sure the projection on the bloodline is fulfilled as you part of the arrangement of the devil. At the same time, those to rescue you, imagine Ismael was supposed alikuwa angepumzikia hapo. Kama ni si alikuwa anatafuta mtoto na amepata mtoto kutukia Hagai angesimamia hapo na aseme now because God you have refused me to give a baby through Hasara now I'm contented. Niko sawa. Ismael was just meant to come and kill the dream of Isaac. That was the sole intention of Hagar into that family to distort the bloodline system to make sure that whatever who is brought about it is not the promised son to bring the generation they were all men to bring down the generation of Abraham those things that come and happen in your life they are all meant only to make sure a generation of you does not come up just like Abraham it happened to Jude to, to Judah Judah, it was prophesied that kings will come from your family. And immediately, he got married to a Canaanite woman. Wakashikana. Wakazawa watoto. Kube, this was the source of the death of the dream of Jacob. This was the source of the death of the dream that had been prophesied. That this man, Josh, Josh, uh, uh, Judah, will produce kings. Will produce kings. Praise be the name of God. Immediately, the first man got, got, his, got, got a woman. And instead of giving birth, he died. The second man, your brother. Because the sole intention was who you mama as I am Toto and by a meitanishwa the first son. Because according to Sheria Zauko, ama tradition yauko, mutoto wa kwanza diarikwa na zam toto mwenya anafa ataitwa king. So iyo diarikwa na nganganiya tu? Diyo kijana ya pilia kabia wewe. Kuwa modo. Lakini mutoto ino taza si yako ni ya brada yako. Akasema no we. Wete giyata kaka. Akashika mama kapeleka bedroom. Lakini akamuka pego chini. Kutoka hapo, kijana kakufa sasa ukasemekana kuna kingine kadogo lakini kadogo sana mama hakuwa na haja na watoto ah ah alikuwa na haja na kumaliza the source of this promise the source of the anointing na anointing ilikuwa na juda kwa hivyo amemaliza wa kwanza akamaliza wa pili ni assignment kuna watu wamekuja kwa mtorole yako wako na assignment ya ku make sure you don't succeed and this is because of the power of the bloodline. Because kuna mahali bloodline yenu imesema you cannot go through. Hata ujaribu. Unatengeneza pesa muzuri. Kuna watu wanakuwaga matajiri kutoka 25 years back 40 years. Akivika 40. Ugojo natokea. Ki ugojo kinakuja kinamesa pesa yote. Mwigini anakuja na pada baka 40. Ki ugojo kinatokea. Udakuta nyu boma musima iko na chronic disease. Kama CTB ni diabetes kama si babies ni pressure kama si pressure ni ukimwi kama si ukimwi ni kaza then the family unakuta huyu anaenda wiki hii hospitali huyo mwingine anaenda wiki hiyo ingine na wote walikuwa mamilionea in the diabetes but when time for their opening time for their deliverance time for their self getting into their destiny wakati ilifika na inafika wakati wote ni unasikia mlipuko bwana yesu asifiwe sana so you mama wa Juda akakufa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bibi ya Juda akafanya nini? Akakufa msee akaanza kufanya ile kitu naitaga morning. Akatoka sasa. Akaenda akaenda pale mngedho. Unajua mngedho ni wapi? Kuruda kuste kujiotoa hofu kukibia kweje kwa ile pole. Kuzo kuka tu na kamba kora yake na tebia tu. Kuka tokea ka mama, ka prostitute, ka mejifunika uso. 
najua huyu juda ametoka kwa muhereka ya prostitutes <laughs> juda alikuwa ametoka kwa muhereka ya nani akaenda akakutana na prostitute kama ka strategic position these people when they come they strategize themselves in a position that you must need them hallelujah they will come hapa in a position that you must need them lazima utaona their need lazima hata kama the need is there already hata kama the solution you have you utafikiria wacha eh we ana hakiri nyingi mbona reka tumwekere ha they strategize themselves in a position hawezi kuepuka kuwatumia kama makalieda na walichua kabisa na ile roho ile roho ya kumaliza ikaruka kutoka kwa kamama ikaruka kwa juda mwenyewe juda mwili ikaanza kusikia joto alipofika huko magnet ya north na ya south zikaanza kuvutana musi akaida kaona mumaraya for the first time hakuna ukisoma hiyo chapter yote hakuna hiyo area haijapatikana mara ya mwingine lakini all of a sudden na mzee hakuwa na maraya karibu na yeye akaona maraya bwana yesu asifiwe sana kama mama kalikuwa tayari unani kwa sababu ni magnet hii na hii zimeanza na zilikuwa zimesetiwa because of this purpose to kill a dream kama mama kakamwambia mimi sijakataa kumbe ni yule bibi ya watoto wake wawili na amejivunika na amebadilisha sura na uzi sauti because ni a strategically positioned for that work but on the work of that day akalia sasa mzee kubuka abraham kamoja huyu mzee naye akachukua akaombea mama twende mama akamwambia utanilipa na nini akamwambia mimi sina kitu lakini uliko na busi sasa akamwambia basi wewe fanya hivi wewe ni legera mumu kirea alafu tushoke twalia hapo hapo basi tukiende kile kile nyitere ile ndio kale hapo mzee kubwa alikuwa na bakora mkwaje mzee alikuwa todo bien agri de si amor de si adivi mama kama mbia ni patie ibu kwaju akamu patie we can eat there akamwambia ta hiyo pete umevaa ni patie akamtolea akamtolea arake menya na ona ihenya na ihenya wakati hii kitu inakuja it is destabilizes your mind You only come to the great later what you did. This is a very powerful thing. Kai, it is a goddess. Hey. Hey, well. You only come to realize what mistake have you done. You start crying around. How powerful it is. You cannot be able to kujiodo. Hey, Wewe, like you ni faura ogire. You run away. Wakaingira na hauka maigoya. Like you did to my hoya. Kile rumu si akile hapo. Kana hiyo hadi kitu ni hali rumu. Eh kuna mali umesikia kulikuwa na rumu? Hakukuwa na rumu, waliingia kwa maigo ya na hapo nyuma. Kama maharaka haraka. Abraham ilikuwa one. One. Kwa maigo ya tunaweza fanya two touch. Judah na yeye alifanya one. Akasa akaleta nini? Ifara kabiri. na ilikuwa one touch kwa maikoya na mama akamaliza kazi na kaeda haumusiki tena kutoka hapo tama haumusiki tena amemaliza job she has accomplished a job na amenda wakati muse mama akiwa huko alikatu tubo kama Juda mwenyewe dialitana kikao the man now who is a victim of the strategic pattern dialita mtukutana akasema yule mama naona ni kama bete na na kubi alikuwa amewekwa kwa sababu ya the youngest son akaisema yule mwenye anajua ameduga huyu mama miba tunaenda kumchija na mama anaenda kuchijwa na ni Juda anauliza swali gani nasema hivi nao agalia venye destiny umalizo because of the bloodline akaita kikao na vijana barubaru wakabio kaini pale na paga ya kuchija two victims mwenye kuduga na mudugu mzee akakaa huko nyumba 10 maana ndiye alikuwa mzee wa nyumba 10 akasema we tama tatuiria tiriri 
Tondo turona tawe muri tuli. No ete deo. Akasema munataka kujua. Eh, ye, nyajaka kujua. Nani amekupatia ruhusa ya kuogea? Kale tule tumusetu wa kijiji. Akapia tafadhali na mwaopa tu. Munipatia teka pili ni kibie kwa nyuba ni kuja. Wewe wakafikiria ni kwenda naeda kuhara na kukwajua wa diwa kuja. Kasa kwenye najua wa sazi wazima watachicha. Mama alikipia kube imo kwajua ilifukwa musuri. Na ikawekwa. For the right time of killing the destiny. Pete na ayo iliwekwa ikakuja musuri. For the right time of killing the destiny. Mama kakipia kalete mkwajua na kalete pete. Akasi mama bele ya jaji mku, juda. Akafugua mkwajo. Akame na watu wanajua juda mkwajo ya juda. Kila mtu walikuwa najua. Akafugua kasema mwenye hii. Hii pete muna ijua? Eee, mwenye hii pete. Juda meisa majaisha? Ameisha. Na kutoka hapo Maisha ya juda Ikahenda Mama likupatika na mimba gapi Na ukubuka ni one Touch Abraham ni one Touch Ya one touch Hallelujah Watu wegi muripotesa masomo yenu Kwa sababu ya one Watu wegi muripotesa appointment Ya kibarua kwa sababu ya one Bana Yesu asifiwe sana Musea Judah kasema ni meona kweli ni mimi ni mimi kosa Mimi ni stahili kukufa Has the dream been killed? Has the dream been killed? It died He was to bring forth a king immediately The word was prophesied Sasa wacha ni kuwabie How many generations passed for this thing to change? Tufugue Matthew chapter 1 Matthew chapter 1 Tuagalia genealogy of Jesus Christ Inasema na mnakani The book of genealogy of Jesus Christ The son of David The son of Abraham Abraham was the father of Isaac And Isaac was the father of Jacob And Jacob was the father of Judah And his brother Tukwapo And his brothers and Judah the father of Tuanzisa. Judah the father of the father of are we there? Matthew 1. Because I want us all to read the one how they destroy you and for how long you are going to be destroyed. Are we there, Baba? The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begat son. Isaac and Isaac begat Jacob and Jacob begat Judas and his brethren. Sasa tunataka kuwazia kwa Judah because that is where the prophetic word started. Judah begot Fares and Zara. Fares and Zara niyo watoto hao walipatikana kwa hiyo. One touch. Watoto ambao walikuwa nafaa kuzaliwa na sons zake. Sasa ye ndi ya meza na mtoto na bibi ya watoto wake. Judas begat Fares and Zara. Sasa tuwanzi sasa. Generation ni meanza ya Judah. Sema one. Mbama yao likuwa na ito atama. And the Pharisees begot Ezron. And the Ezron begot Aram. And the Aram begot who? Aminadab. And Aminadab begot Nahashon. And Nahashon begot Salmon. And Salmon begot Boaz. And Boaz begot Obedi. Obedi begot Jeze. And Jeze begot ten generations. That is when a king is found. That is how you lose a game. Ten generations. Then a generation was 1,000, sorry, was 150 years. One generation. So it has gone 10 generations. How many years to come? 1,500 years. That is when he was able to produce that which was prophesied. So don't, you, don't if you are not aware of that is what is happening to you, 
you maybe have been prophesied to you are going to become you are going to be married na kumbe wewe kwa sababu umepoteza mwelekeo you have lost it you are children 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 wale mtazaa wewe utazaa kitoto uzalie nyumbani kitoto kyako kizalie nyumbani kiko kizalie nyumbani hiko kingine kizalie nyumbani but remember the prophetic word was yours lakini baka generation ya kumi ndio mtoto wa kwanza ataolewa tusimame kwa miguu yetu